Yeah. The topic for today's group discussion is privatization of banks. And uh, are you in favor of it or against it? Uh, and um, apart from that, since this is a practice session, I would like you to un tell certain other news or information you have received about this privatization also. But generally in GDs, what will happen? The topic will be against for privatization or against privatization. This is how it will go. So we can start the discussion from now onwards. And I, since this is a practice session, I would request you to take about four or five minutes time for each of you to talk on this topic so that um, after all of you talking, uh, then we can make it as an open session. So we can initiate the trans, I mean, uh, discussion with the first person who came for this class. Is it Manpreet or Ankit? Mohanish was there online. Then An Aksha, we will start with the alphabet A. First alphabet A, second alphabet A, Manpreet MA, third Mohanish, fourth is Porkodi. Like that it will go. Ankit, you please start your discussion. Hindi me bolsutam? Anji, koi baat nahi. So let us have two channels. One Hindi, jo jo log Hindi me jal bolna chate, o Hindi me boliga. Jo log Angreji me bolna chate, ap Angreji me boliga. Usko follow kar deo ji. If you cannot follow Hindi, don't worry about it. Those who are speaking in English, you follow what is going on in English. But I don't want it to be English first, then Hindi and all separately. Let us continue like this. Jo, whatever language you want to speak, speak. Ankit. Yes, sir. Good evening, everybody. Today's topic is privatization of bank. Private bank ka matlab hai, jis mein shareholding jo hai 51% se jada, pub, uh, private investor ke paas hai. Aur, uh, private bank ke kai faide hai, jaysi public sector in ke high productivity hai. Is mein governance ko, govern karna hai, private bank ko ko easy hota hai, kyunki is mein decision lena hai. डिसीजन uh, पास लिए जा सकते हैं और प्राइवेट uh, बैंकों का मेन मोटिव जो होता है वो प्रॉफिट की तरफ होता है जिससे कंपटीशन काफी तक बढ़ा रहता है जिससे काफी बड़ी बड़ी इंटरेस्ट रेट जो प्राइवेट बैंक देते रहते हैं अपने कस्टमर्स को और इन्वेस्टर uh, जो होते हैं प्राइवेट इन्वेस्टर वो ज्यादातर प्रेफर प्राइवेट बैंक को करते हैं इसलिए इन्वेस्टमेंट भी ज्यादातर प्राइवेट बैंक में होती है जैसे एस बैंक है जो अभी टॉप पे चला हुआ है और इसमें रेगुलेशन एज कम्पेयर टू पब्लिक सेक्टर बैंक वो भी काफी स्ट्रिक्ट रहती है जिससे फ्रॉड वगैरह होना या फिर लोन का डिफॉल्ट होना वो एनपीए जो होते हैं वो पब्लिक सेक्टर से एज कम्पेयर टू कम होते हैं इसके कई फायदे तो यहाँ पर इसके कई डिसएडवांटेजेस भी है जैसे कहा था अभी प्रॉफिट जो होता है ये प्रॉफिट की तरफ होता है ये सोशल ऑब्लिकेशन नहीं देखते जिससे ये रिच को ज्यादातर लोन देते और पुअर सेक्शन जो होता है एडवांटेज एडवांटेज नहीं ले पाते इसका और ज्यादातर देखा गया कि सर्वे किया गया था तो उसमें भी यही पाया गया कि मोस्टली प्रेफर जो है लोग अपना सेविंग अकाउंट जो है वो इसमें पब्लिक सेक्टर बैंक में खोलते हैं एज कम्पेयर टू प्राइवेट सेक्टर और अगर गवर्नमेंट uh, सभी बैंक्स को प्राइवेट कर देगी तो फिर एक तरफ से मोनोपली हो जाएगी प्राइवेट सेक्टर की जैसे अभी uh, इसमें रिलायंस और एयरटेल है जिसने पूरी तरह से डोमिनेट किया है सिर्फ ओनली नेटवर्क एरिया के क्षेत्र में अगर ऐसे प्राइवेट कर देंगे तो वो एक तरफ से लॉस ही होगा इंडियन इकोनॉमी Thank you, sir. After Ankit, it is Manpreet. After Manpreet, it will be yes. Maya. After Maya, Moganish. After Moganish, Porkodi. Yeah. Now, Manpreet. My name is Manpreet Kaur. I am from Kudaspur, Punjab. I have done MBA in finance and marketing. So, thanks for giving me the opportunity to discuss the privatization, discuss the topic privatization of banks. Uh, for and against. So, uh, privatization means uh, transferring the ownership. Uh, privatization of banks uh, means tra uh, transferring the ownership and uh, control of the banks from government to private entities. 
so uh, privatization has both pros and cons uh, uh, first i will discuss the uh, uh, advantages of uh, privatize uh, disadvantages of privatize privatization uh the first is uh, the first is advantage of privatization is uh the middle class middle and poor class uh, people will suffer uh, uh, suffer uh, when uh, banks will be privatized because privatize uh, private sector banks only focused on uh, profit they only uh, provide services to big players like corporate business banks uh, but uh, but uh, so uh, they uh, so uh, they uh, they do not focus on uh, uh, retail customers but the public sector uh, banks uh, focus on uh, financial inclusion uh, so financial financial inclusion means uh, they provide service uh, they provide financial service uh, services to uh, both uh, both poor and middle class people and uh, so in this way uh, uh they uh, in this way uh, all the uh, people of our country uh, get pri uh, get uh, financial services so and the second one is uh, uh, and the uh, uh, private sector do not uh, neglect social responsibilities but public sector uh, focus on uh, social welfares government uh, so government initiatives uh, numerous government initiatives such as uh, uh pradhan mantri janadan yojana and pension yojana uh, only uh, uh, only was uh, successful because they uh, they are implemented in public sector banks because uh, people mostly uh, uh, trust on public sector banks so uh, i think there should be no uh, private uh, there should no uh, there should be not uh, banks should be privatized but uh, there are also uh, advantages of privatization uh because uh, privatization banks are more advanced and uh, more if uh, and operate more effectively than public sector banks it, uh, they provide innovative uh, services and uh, uh, products to the customers and uh, foreign investors also choose private sector banks rather than uh, public sector banks because they uh, they know uh, pri uh, private sector banks only focus on their profit so they uh, uh, they think if we uh, invest on uh, private sector bank so we can get more uh, more profit so uh, and uh, uh, public sector banks are also less co uh, competitive uh, so uh, uh, than uh, less competitive than private sector banks and uh, they offer competitive products uh, pro competitive products which can uh, uh, benefit to the customers and uh, uh, private sector banks also uh, uh, also very obedient and sincere towards their work and responsibility rather than uh, public sector banks and uh, uh, now uh, crisil also uh, crisil also released a report uh, about banking uh, uh, la uh, corporate banking sector so hdfc surpassed the sbi uh, on the uh, because uh, hdfc market penetration is 69% and uh, sbi is market penetration is 60% so uh, uh, so in this uh, so it uh, we can say that private sector banks uh, are doing uh, more than uh, public sector banks good thank That's you, you. Thank you nice nice thank you good good you were able to speak well after manpreet maya has gone maya's internet is not all right probably she has gone then after yam it will be moganish moganish you please speak yes sir as i was uh, preparing for the interview i am not able to uh, collect much information about the privatization but i will at least try to speak for 2 3 2 to 3 minutes or i will put my points some points the, the idea is you must write you want to ask for hindi or uh, english in yes, your... sir, i will i will talk in english only sir then you try to talk for at least 2 3 minutes in english yes, correct yes. english that will do Uh, yes sir uh, actually the privatization is a term that uh, refers that the uh, almost uh, more than 50% of the stakes in the bank or any organization are to the pri private uh, private uh, private owners uh, so the privatization uh, is also biased topics uh, that we cannot say that it is good or bad uh, there are some reasons uh, 
for the public sector uh, uh, those banks are public sector which are uh, which are loan assets and equity uh, which is the reason uh, for the privatization uh, also the uh, public sector banks are higher on npa and they are also lost the ground to both deposits and advan advances uh, so the uh, so to uh, negotiate these uh, reasons the government should take the initiatives in the public sector banks to save the public sector banks which are very essential as the public sector banks uh, uh, public sector banks are uh, responsible for the financial inclusion in both rural and the uh, district level uh, urban urban uh, ar for the urban people uh, as the private bank on only focus on the richer class uh, so there will be an uh, less financial inclusion towards the growth of the rural people uh, the government should take the initiatives such as the recapitalizations uh, to increase the assets and equity in the public sector banks. Also, the prompt corrective actions and consolidation through the mergers of the bank uh, should be necessary to uh, for the growth of the public sector banks. Uh, that's it, sir. Very good. Next, uh, uh, after... Manpreet after Mohanesh. Now it will be Perkodi. Yes, sir. Good evening, all. I am Perkodi. I am from Tamil Nadu. And uh, thank you for giving me this opportunity for a discuss about the privatization of banks. We know banks are our uh, uh, economy's backbone. Uh, banks is a financial institute banks a bank is a financial institution and also it accepts deposit and the lending money to the customers and also banks are provide a various types of uh, services to uh, customers uh, normally banks are classified in two types uh, they are public sector bank and private sector banks in public sector banks uh, majority of uh, stake is held by a government in private sector bank uh, majority of uh, shares uh, of a bank uh, is uh, controlled by a uh, private share private shareholders uh, privatization means uh, the ownership of uh, uh, that the institution um, sell to a private uh, entities uh, in a privatization of banks is a uh, has some goods and uh, negative also uh, if uh, we uh, if, uh, we, if we implement a privatization of banks uh, it it will uh, uh, improve our economic growth uh, because uh, comparing to public sector banks uh, private uh, private sector banks give a good profit uh, and they uh, they more responsible uh, then uh, public sector banks uh, employees also work uh, with uh, more uh, responsibility and also foreign banks are uh, foreign investors are uh, willing to uh, invest in private sector banks and um, uh, in private sector banks uh, they also implement uh, some schemes and uh, uh, many uh, many investors are willing to invest in private sector banks and uh, and also private sector banks uh, follow the concept of uh, lowest risk um, so it uh, give a uh, good economic growth and uh, recently uh, uh, many uh, many institution conducted a survey they report uh, privatization uh, gives the more uh, economic growth uh, than uh, public sectors uh, so our uh, our government uh, think about uh, that and uh, the concept of uh, privatization of banks is um, uh, definitely private sector banks give uh, more efficient than uh, public sector banks but sometimes it also fail uh, fail uh, so private sector private sector banks are um, not uh, have the good uh, 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 good understand by uh, customers so many customers are willing to deposit their money in uh, uh, public sector banks uh, they only prefer uh, public sector banks for uh, deposit uh, deposit and um, many government schemes like uh, Jandan Yojana and the Pension Yojana are uh, implemented in uh, public sector banks. It is also useful for uh, customers, so they enjoy that. And um, in private sector banks, uh, they only focus for uh, profit, uh, so they are very strict. Uh, they know um, focus for uh, middle class and the poor people. But in public sector bank, uh, it. Uh, um, it uh, work, uh, works under um, service mind. 
so it is also uh, uh, negative side of uh, uh, private sector bank and um, uh, definitely uh, uh, many advantages and disadvantages are uh, there in a, a privatization of banks but uh, normally uh, uh, banks are uh, if banks are um, uh, service uh, under uh, gov uh, government it is uh, more easier to customers sir that's all sir good everybody has talked is there somebody who has not talked so far uh, anybody else would like to add some more points ankit aap kuch bolna chahte hain aap 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 definitely bata dijiye aap privatization ko favor karte hain nahi karte hain usko karan kya hai sir main favor nahi karta क्योंकि प्राइवेट सेक्टर प्राइवेट बैंक जो ज्यादातर ये सिटीज सिटीज में ही है ओपन और ये रूरल जो जहाँ गांव जो है वहाँ पे ओपन नहीं करती अपनी ब्रांचेस और ये मोस्टली प्रेफर रिच पीपल्स को करते और अगर इनसे लोन लेना जाओ तो ये ये सिक्योरिटीज ज्यादा मांगते हैं जो एक किस्म से एक पुअर पीपल जो है वो और इसके कलेक्टर भी रखने पड़ते हैं काफी ज्यादा प्राइवेट सेक्टर बैंक पे अगर कुछ लोन अवेल करना हो तो जिससे मुझे लगता है कि इतना कोलेट्रल एक पूर्व के पास नहीं होता इसलिए आई एम नॉट इन फेवर ऑफ प्राइवेट फर्स्ट क्लास मनप्रीत व्हाट डू यू से डू यू फेवर प्राइवेटाइजेशन और नॉट आई एम नॉट फेवर ऑफ प्राइवेटाइजेशन बिकॉज एज आई अर्लियर टोल्ड द बेनिफिट्स ऑफ डिसएडवांटेजेस ऑफ प्राइवेटाइजेशन लाइक uh privatization only focus on profit but public sector bankings are uh, uh, focus on financial inclusion they are focus on social welfare also but now i i, I want to add one more point that uh, uh if um, if banks will be privatized so it i uh, in my opinion uh, uh there is uh, there will uh, there will be less job opportunities uh, so it will create uh, uh, so it will uh, uh, increase the unemployment rate because uh, now public sec uh, now in public sector bank government open various vacancies uh, uh, of various posts like abps po clerk rrb po clerk sba po clerk so uh, every uh, so every candidate can apply uh, these vacancies uh, who have done uh, who have done uh, graduation in any stream so they will participate in the exams and uh, uh, clear and uh, get job uh, of their dream but uh, uh, if the banks will be privatized so uh, there will uh, there will be less job opportunities because private sector banks only uh, hire those candidates who have done highly professional degrees and uh, uh, like uh, uh, post graduation like mcom and mba they only focus uh, they only uh, hire those candidates who have uh, who are uh, who will be uh, who will have a uh, commerce background so i think uh, this is the biggest uh, disadvantages of uh, privatization okay next up uh, moganesh moganesh sir are you is, are you favoring moganesh. yes or no uh, what sir I'm privatization able... privatization favor karte hain nahi karte uh, no sir i am not in favor of privatization why uh because sir uh, the privatization will uh, uh, there were so many uh, students who are uh, pursuing their career in banking will lost the job uh, hmm. and there will be less growth in the rural sector uh, hmm. where there is more need of financial inclusion hmm. uh, that's it sir acha that is okay now last person is parkodi yes sir Yes, sir i am also against uh, privatization of banks sir uh, because uh, our uh, country is uh, most based on our uh, people sir so our custom our uh, our uh, we give more important for uh, our uh, for our uh, people so if uh, no, no, privatization you, banks you, you, no no you should try to say ours is a social welfare society huh so we yes, have to give more importance for our people but when the privatization happens 
the importance for common public will come down. Something like that you should speak. Why are you struggling? Huh? Yes, sir. <laughs> Why are you not talking with confidence? Speak. Now speak. You try. Yes, sir. Good. Yes, sir. No, you, are, you, are, you have improved a lot. Now continue. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, uh, if uh, banks are privatized, then uh, many people are affected. So, they, so privatization banks uh, is not good for all, sir. Mm -hmm. Wait. This is what I downloaded from chat GPT. Let us read this. Now, you start, Parkwadi, you start yourself. Privatization yes, of banks. Ah. Privatization of banks, pros and cons. Privatization of banks refers to the process of transferring ownership under control of government-owned or state-owned banks to private entities or individuals. This has been a topic of debate in many countries. And it comes with its own set of pros and cons. Let's explore them. Mm. Pros of privatization banks. Mm. Efficiency and competition. Mm. Privatization often introduces competition, encouraging banks to become more efficient and customer focused. Mm. Private banks are generally de driven by profit. Mm. Driven by profit. Yes, sir. D R I V E drive. D R I V E N driven. Uh, okay, uh, please continue. Private banks or generally private private banks are generally driven by profit, profit motives, leading to improved services, better technology and innovation. Continue. Reduced fiscal burden. Governments often struggle to manage and fund state-owned banks, which can be a significant fiscal burden. Privatization can help reduce the physical financial burden on the government, raising up resources for other essential services. What is this? Access. Freeing, sir. What is Freeing. this? Freeing, sir. Freeing. Ni enna sunna? Sir, I... I Freezing. I, like... Freezing, sunna. Freezing, naka, uh, to make it... Um, like, say, varayad. That is in ice yeah. and all that. Okay. You must read properly. Come on, read again. Access yes, to capital. Access to capital. Private banks have better access to capital markets, allowing them to raise funds for expansion and investments more easily. This can lead to greater economic growth and job creation. Risk management. Private banks are generally more cautious with, with their lending practices and risk management as they are accountable to shareholders and the investors. This can help mitigate the risk of financial crisis caused by irresponsible lending. Very good. Now we will go to, um, I think, Moganish. Moganish? Yes, sir. Risk management over Abhi Innovation Technology. Innovation and technology. Private banks are often more agile in adopting new technologies and innovation financial products, which can lead to a more efficient and modern banking sector. Accountability. Private banks are accountable to their shareholders and the market. If they perform poorly, they can face consequences such as declined stock prices and loss of investor confidence, encouraging them to stay competitive and well-managed. Continue. Cons of privatization of banks. Cons of privatization of bank. Wait, one minute. It is not moving properly. Uh, now read. Reduce, ac reduce access to credit for certain groups. Private banks might focus on profitable customer segment, potentially leaving out certain vulnerable groups or those with lower income. This could lead to reduce access to credit for small businesses or low income individuals. Mm. Profit driven approach. Private banks' primary goal is to maximize profits for their shareholders. 
which might result in aggressive lending practices, higher fees, and reduced support for social welfare initiatives. Mm. Job losses. Privatization can sometimes lead to job losses, especially if the new owners restructure the bank to improve efficiency. This can have a negative impact on employees and their families. Systematic risk. A highly privatized banking sector might increase systematic, systematic risk. Systematic, systematic, systemic risk. Systemic risk. Highly privatized banking sector might increase systemic risk as banks could income interconnected and engage in riskier behavior to maximize profit. Reduce government control. With privatization, the government relinquishes direct relinquish direct control over the banks which might limit its ability to influ influence or regulate the banking sector to achieve certain social or economic goals mm. short term Sh focus mm. private banks may prioritize short term gains and quarterly profits potentially compromising long term stability and investment in the economy good now next is uh, manpreet aapne padh liya padh padh lijiye in summary, in summary, the privatization of banks can lead to increased efficiency, innovation, and reduced fiscal burden, but it also carries the risk of reduced access to credit, job losses, and a more profit-driven approach to banking. The decision to privatize banks should be carefully considered, taking into account the specific economic and social context of the country in question. Regulation and oversight are crucial to ensure that the privatized bank operate responsibly and in the best interest of the overall economy and its citizens. Very good. So in the real GD that you may be having, supposing they are giving you the same topic, you have to decide to choose this side, cons, that is favor or against. You should choose that and then speak. But truly speaking, most of us will feel like uh, supporting, say, um, non-privatization. But if everybody is going to talk in non-privatization, the GD will not be very interesting. So you see, if most of them are going to do like that, then you choose the opposite approach. You choose, it is good to privatize. So what is happening? Like that, you can try to speak. But even though you are heart of heart, as a candidate, you may be feeling job losses will be there, etc. But the government is going to proceed with that, maybe in slow stages. So uh, for the sake of discussions in GD, if you really want to get more chance to speak, you can choose the other side also and speak. Could you follow this? Ma Manpreet, Ankit, samajh gaya aapko? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Very good. Ankit, nice. Abhi hum log kya kar rahe hain? Hum log idhar ja rahe hain. 31st, 30th June result has come. They have given presentation also. So this must be Just a minute. Oh, it is coming here like this. Uh, this is the thing. Oh, Baba. See, actually, when I started the classes, I gave you figure as on 31st March 2023. Now, first quarter results have also come. So, we must try to uh, analyze this from the uh, in, in the interview they will ask from this only so 